Hello, my little sugar dumpy tribe people. How the wonder are you? How the wonder are you? I don't know what to say, but I don't care. It's your time for tarot. Pick one, two, or three. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. What is in your head? Make a decision, stick to it. Some of you might even be connected. There's my one, there's my two. Thank you, there's my three. Some of you may be connected to more than one number. Some of you may have three, whatever floats your boat. Everybody's different. These are generic. What, what resonates with you, you take. This is the first card, number ones. Number twos. Oh. <gasps> Number threes, Jesus. If I was actually doing a reading now, I would know exactly what to say. However, these are separate. So we're going to have to start with number ones. Now, as you know, um, if you've read my books, I refer to um, things in life that really kick you in the crutch. It's a tower moment. Now, a tower moment, as you can see in the card, is just complete chaos. Um, I'm using, people always ask me, I'm using my QR tarot cards again today, by the way. Okay, so I will be doing my clarifiers with the Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Um, because I feel very angely, very angely. Um, so the tower, tower moments to me, they are chaos, and you know, you've built up something and it's come smashing down. Something has ended, something has stopped you in your tracks, and it is shit. What I will say to you is, is that mostly the tower is the universe changing your life because you haven't changed it yourself to get you in the right path, the right direction of where you should be. Tower moments to me are the best thing that could happen to us because they will lead to something magnificent that you will look back on that tower moment and think, thank God that happened. Because if that hadn't have happened, I wouldn't be here now. It's all about faith. It's all about you thinking it's shit, but there's a reason for it. And looking for that reason and looking forward rather than sitting and bathing in your own self-pity. Harsh, but true. Harsh, but fair. Okay, so you may be going through that tower moment at the moment. However, what I will say is, is if it is due to a loss or a bereavement or an illness, I cannot tell you how sorry I am. And I have no idea why the, why we write these in our life plans. All I can tell you is, is that you have to try and ride this situation out because that horrible cliche of time is a healer really is very true. I know that, um, I know that it is... No comfort getting words from somebody when you go through a loss, even if it's a loss of a job, loss of a person, okay? Um, all I can offer is my grief program, which is on my playlist. And you go and see a counsellor if you find it really hard to deal with the stages of grief, okay? Let's have a look and see if we can get a subject matter for your tower moment, number ones. Oh God, I can't pick these up. There is no reason. Thank you very much. I've covered it. So this is fantastic because what's happening is, is that you've had the tower. OK, and what's going to happen with this is it's given me the outcome, which is absolutely superb. The ace of air, the ace of swords. And these are all, as I say, air signs. So this is um, Libra. Oh, my God, I've just had a brain fart. <laughs> Libra Aquarius. A Gemini! Yeah, if I got there in the end, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so the air signs. So this could allude to you or to whatever the situation is or who, who you know, whoever the problem is. Um, however, this is brilliant news for you. As I promised you just a minute ago with the tower, this is going to lead to either you finding out the truth for situation, you finding your own truths. It's about you... Um, aspiring to greater, more brilliant opportunities in life. So despite the tower moment, if it is something to do with a loss of a job or, you know, something that's gone really wrong in your life, you've broken up with someone, whatever it is, this has happened for the most brilliant reason because I'm telling you now, look, look, even there, you can read that. It even says, look, see, oh, same true of the situation, change and beginning, brilliant new ideas and inspiration. So despite the fact that the moment it seems really tough. This is going to lead you to magnificence. Don't forget this reading. It will lead you to magnificence and abundance and a sense of calm. Remember that while you're going through it. Okay, number ones, number twos. 
what are you doing to yourselves number twos look you know it, it could quite easily throw these down and just trot off to his little village but he's not he's just being a dick because he's doing the ten of wands here and the ten of wands is complete complete burden you are carrying the world on your shoulders, number twos. You need to kind of alleviate yourself. Give yourself a break. Why are you taking all this burden on? Why are you taking other people's burden on? Why are you allowing yourself? Look, I know we do it because we're empaths and we love to save people. We love to help people. But enough is enough, okay? It just is going to make you more fatigued, more feeling let down, feeling like you've had enough. It's just not the way forward at the moment. You need to find ways to rid yourself of these burdens. It could be you're working too hard. Alleviate it, okay? And trust that the universe will provide the money you lose out if you take the hours down. Get rid of the person that's draining you. Stop running around for other people that are perfectly capable of doing stuff themselves. Number three sounds more like it to me. Let's see what other advice you've got from the angel cards, darlings. You're just so burdened at the moment. I just want to make sure and see if there's stuff that you can't get rid of or it really is down to you to prioritise and get rid of stuff that is not necessary. Do you understand? There we go. Jesus. I just love it when a plan comes together, right? It's you. Do you know why? Because I have just pulled out of all of these cards, over 150 cards, I've pulled the Ten of Fire. And guess what the Ten of Fire is? The Ten of Wands. Look at that. I had to stop for a minute and take it in. I'm like, is it really it? Oh, my God. You are taking on too much work. You're taking on too much other people's energy. You are taking on too much. It is not going to serve you well. Double, double warning. Stop, prioritise and get rid of what you do not have to do because you will be reaping the dividends of you overworking, overstressing and taking too much on. You'll end up ill. Stop. There's your message, number twos. Number threes, heartache going on here, my darlings. I don't know if this is through loss of a loved one or loss of a relationship or you're feeling depressed or you're just literally finding it very hard to get some sort of balance going on. But something's taken place to make you feel totally crap. The good thing is with the three, we're more towards the beginning of the journey here. So that means to me that this is temporary if you allow it to be. You're going to stay stuck in this situation and what's happened and not wanting to look for the future or, or try and implement plans. You will stay in this state of being. But this is this is temporary at the moment with the three of swords. OK, so let's just get some advice from the angels for that. It's very, very difficult when we're in a time of crisis. We cannot see anything in the future that's going to make it bright. We can't do it. We naturally create this massive darkness around us when we are in severe pain, especially heartache. Um, but then eventually there's a flickering little light that's really annoying and then it gets bigger and bigger and it's a tunnel we walk through and we're back out. We're back out playing again. Um, so we've got the Queen of Cups here. So this is perfect. OK, I want you to, um, first of all, all cups relate, relate to emotion and intuition. OK, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And so with the Queen of Cups, she's a very beautifully balanced, emotionally settled person. She's very benevolent and helps everybody else. She also uses her intuition very well to help her flow with the universe even more better than, you know, anybody could. So the advice here for you is, is that if you are going through a bereavement or you find it really hard at the moment or you're dealing with mental health issues or something's happened, a betrayal, breakup, whatever it is, you need to kind of get over to the spiritual side. Come on over to the spiritual side. Okay, so think about going to spiritualist church, going for a walk, make, being, being mindful of doing things that you absolutely love, especially if it's involved in nature. 
Think about crystal healing. Think about getting your crystal for grief. Think about going to Spirit's Church. Think about listening to your intuition. And when it says go for a walk, go for a walk. If it says go and watch a movie, go and watch a movie. Rather than what you have to do, go with what your soul compass is telling you to do. This is all about special time with you, special time with nature and allowing yourself to heal in the most beautiful way. Or reach out if you can to others, you know, people that are understanding, people that are supportive. Keep yourself away from people that are draining. You're aiming to be the Queen of Cups here, which is nothing but pure peace, tranquility, love and benevolence. OK, it's coming to you. Either you'll create it yourselves or someone will be in your path to help you get through there you go, my darlings. There are your one, two, three tarot. I really hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if they resonate below. Um, and until the next time, think good things, create good things, and they shall come back to a hundredfold. Lots of love. See you soon.